YouTube, it's me, it's me, it's your favourite today, and this is my top 10 sales of last week. What up YouTube, it's Wobbly on Time, how you doing? Uh, this is my top 10 sales from last week. Last week wasn't the best. Um, yeah, it's gone, I'd probably, unless I have... A really good day tomorrow. I'd probably say it's been my worst month of the year. Um, May has been. I've um, just been. I don't know. It it's weird because I'm because I'm selling off a lot of um, you know a lot of my Ben Ten stuff now. Um, that's just going for like you know one two three pound. Um, so I'm like. I'm losing pennies on it. I'm not losing a lot of money on it, but I'm losing pennies on it. So that's bringing my profit down a bit. Um, but I'm getting more money in the pocket. It's just profit-wise, it's taking a beating because you know I am including those Ben 10 in my um, you know my profit report kind of thing, my spreadsheet, if you can give me a jig. So yeah, I'm getting more money in the pocket, but profit-wise, it's down. Um, but yeah. Let's go through with them. So don't expect anything amazing. Um, there is one that's going to pop up, which I am pissed off about. I'll explain when I get there. So, right. In at number 10 on your top 10 sales of the last week. Um, Tommy Hilfiger, green and white polo top. Sorry, I've just had some flavoured warnings. Give me a hot Um This cost me £3.50. Um, it's probably one of the first ones because it's hanging on my door when I started picking up t-shirts um, I'm definitely going to be picking up a lot more t-shirts um, I'm going to the charity shops tomorrow it's the first time this week so I, I think I am going to get more into getting like, a lot of t-shirts I think um, you know anything that costs like a pound with a logo on I think I'm just going to pick it up so I see what happens but yeah, this cost me three pound fifty. So for fourteen ninety nine. In at number nine. Um, yeah, this was a pain in the arse to pack. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I've got all that porcelain in brick about on brick about line at the minute. I'm just looking at it, going. I'm slowly getting through you. Um, I think I reduced the price down on this before I start using promotions. Um, it's. What is it? Real old willow. So you have I'm no expert, don't get me wrong. But you, you have the old willow sets, um which kind of have like a Chinese Asian kind of pattern on them. And then these are the real old willow where these seem to have like a gold guild. Um but yeah. Um these cost me I think it was like four quid. I thought they'd be worth I think I bought these with a set of old willow stuff and I think I've already got rid of the old willow stuff um, but this took a while to sell I think I've had these for about six months but I, I think I'm not, I think it cost me about I think it was eight quid for the set with the old willow stuff um, but yeah this cost me about four quid it sold for 14 99 right this is the one that pisses me off in at number eight a Ben 10 figure I don't know why, it just knocks me. No, when I sell a Ben when a Ben tens in my top ten, it knocks me. Um, yeah. Zombozo, it goes for a little bit more money than your your average Ben Ten figure. But yeah, it, it's been weird. Um because I've got so many of these Ben Ten on auctions, like people are buying them in massive loads, like there was not massive loads. There was a guy who bought five, another lady who bought five and another lady where the bids end tomorrow, where she's she's let me know that she's been on ten. Um, you know, and I'm only charging them one lot of four pound postage. It actually it actually does more profit a little bit better. I'm not sure how it works, but because of fees, because of the PayPal fees. But yeah, um, but yeah, I am getting a few Ben Ten. I'm still getting Ben Ten sales for like your you know your six quids and your seven quids. And this is just one of these that ended up, I think this cost me like, I think it was like 20p or something like that. I have a bargain bin somewhere. 
but yeah, um, Zombozo, the clown off Ben 10 for 9.99. In at number 7. Um, look at this, this photo annoys me. It looks better on when I'm looking at the laptop. Um, this is a Windsor, I think I showed you this um, a couple of weeks ago on a live haul. Sorry again, I'm being quiet, the kids are in bed. Um, I, can't, I think this cost me three quid. Um, I should have gone for more. I'm just, I don't know, with the Windsmore coats, it, for me, when I'm doing research, I might be looking at the wrong things, I might be looking at the wrong words, but you know, looking at Windsmore um, embroidered puffer jacket kind of thing, um, I think this exact one had sold for like five or six quid, and I was just going for your average Windsmore kind of coat, not like the big kind of cloak. Because that can go for like 30 to 40. But like your average wins more coat. And they're, they're only around the 15, 20 pound mark. And I just averaged it off. This one had sold for a fiver. Other ones had sold for 20. So I went for 15. But it, it didn't last very long. I think it was on for less than a week. Um, so I think I underpriced it a bit. But oh well. It cost me 3 quid. Went for 14.99. In at number thick. Um, again, the wrestling bundle, this isn't from my bundles that I used to get back in the day, um, the two that I bought from a shop somewhere, um, but these are Team 3D, the Dudley boys out of WWE, I think I've said it before in videos, if you ever get tag teams, they always go for more money, um, but yeah, I think this was when I was getting them from the collector's shop, and I think these would have cost me, yeah, actually, I think it was ten pound for three, so these cost me six six six. Well, that was number, but yeah, um, six pound sixty six that would have cost me, and sold for nineteen ninety nine. Had them for a while though. In at number five, um, this cost me a pound. It was just a bag of Playmobil, um, that was in a charity shop. Um, the stuff was pretty bad, to be fair. That big red thing is a siren. Um, that went off when you spun it. But has it got the year at the bottom? Have well, I showed the year? Sorry. I'm not sure if I showed the year. I think it was nine. There we go, 1976. So, sorry about the swearing. Oh, yeah. There you go, 1976. Um. Yeah, there weren't particularly for many sets, but yeah, just a bunch of crappy old Ben, ben Ten <laughs> Playmobil stuff. I started picking up like, well, like there's cracks and breaks in some of it. Like the 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 lights are a bit discoloured and stuff like that. So they weren't they weren't in the best condition, but yeah, cost me a pound. Went for seventeen ninety nine. I'm not going to complain. Um, in at number four, so at this point, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know what these are. Um, in at number four, um, a bunch of Rai size set of six. Um, these cost me four quid. All of a sudden, over the past few weeks, um, my Rai size has been shifting. <coughs> my Rai size has been shifting. Um, so these cost me like four quid. Um, again, pain in the arse to package. But yeah, I'll always pick it up. I'll always pick it up because I know it sells eventually. And I know kind of, you know, they sell it for like, you know, less than a five a most of the time. And it always goes for like 15 to 20, so I'll pick it up. But yeah, these cost me four quid, sold for 24.99. In at number three, the Shimano men's cycling shoes. Uh, these cost me a tenner for the cherry shop the other week. Um, normally, can I see the bottom of them? I must have took a photo at the bottom of them somewhere. Give me a sec. There we go. So, if you look at the bottom of the shoes, like there, you know, around about there. They normally have clips in that, I don't know what they're called, but they normally have clips in that um, 
clip clip the boots to the pedals so I think with the clips you can get about 40 quid if you've got the clips with them obviously these didn't have the clips they were in good condition but without the clips they were going for about 30 quid so yeah it cost me a tenner I've got 29.99 in at number 2 um, vintage Simmons Scrumpy Jack Cider Flagons times 4 um, how much do these cost me now is it two or three? I think it was three quid each. Which then they cost me twelve or something there. Was it eight? It might have been two pound each. I think it was two pound each on my spreadsheet somewhere. Um, but yeah, these cost me two pound each. I decided to bundle them up because um, when you're looking at them singly, they weren't particularly going for. They weren't, well, there was a lot listed, but they weren't selling. And then there was a few bundles of them that had sold, so um, I thought, feck it, might as well. And it just shows that I'm, I'm giving up alcohol, another alcohol, the alcohol devil trying to get into my brain. <laughs> but yeah, these cost me like 8 quid, sell for 29 They were a bit of a pain in the arse to pack, I ain't gonna lie. Um, heavy, definitely heavy. I charged £8 postage, so yeah, it covered it. But yeah, definitely a pain in the arse to pack and definitely heavy. But in at number one, I've had this for a while. A vintage Georgian, 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 could be Georgian, silver plate claret jug decanter 14 inch tall. Oh, I've got decanter in there twice. Um, yeah, this sold for thirty nine ninety nine. I was really happy that I ended up getting thirty nine ninety nine for this. This cost me a fiver. Um, I was happy I got thirty nine ninety nine for it because this is one of them where um, I think I've mentioned this in other videos. Sending offers to the watchers. Um, I had a few where you know you send offers to the watchers and then all of a sudden it sells like the day after. This was one of them. I think I'd sent an offer to someone for 30 quid and um, the day after it sold for the full price of 39.99 so yeah I was well happy I don't think I'd promoted it or anything so there was no promoted fees on there so yeah I was well happy so yeah that was my top 10 not amazing but meh you might get something from it you know that's why I do these videos so maybe um and somebody can watch it and go, ooh, didn't know they sold, or ooh. Also, to piss the people off who don't like me doing these sales videos. Especially for you. Especially for you. Anyway, so for now, I'm going to love you and leave you. Um, I might have a haul tomorrow, but I'll definitely be going live from the loft. So for now, peace out, stay safe, stay sexy, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.